So welcome to the another video of data structures using Java. In this video, we will be solving a problem called as rotate string. So let's check out what does a question says it. So we have given a two string s and goal and we need to return true if we are able to convert our string s into the string goal. So how we can convert our string s into the string goal? So for this purpose, they have already mentioned one rule that we can shift our leftmost character present in my string s to the right side. For example, if you see carefully that we have given a string called as a, b, c, d and e. So they have mentioned that we can move our leftmost character present in my string s yes, to the right side. So if I shift my a to the right side, my string becomes c, b, c, d, e and a. Now if you observe carefully that this string has become equal to my string called as goal. Therefore, I will simply return my true. So in this way, we need to check whether we can convert our string s yes, to the string goal by shifting every single character present on the leftmost side to the right side. Right. So I hope so you got the meaning of the question. Now let's take out with a few of the example to get more clarity on it. So we have given a two string again string yes and string goal and the length of my two strings is six. So we need to check whether we are able to convert our string yes to string goal by shifting every character on the left side to the right side. So what I will do is first of all, I will shift my A to the right side. So my string will look like as B, C, X, Y, Z and A. So what I did is I simply shifted my A to my right side. Now I will shift my B to the right side. But before I move my B to the right side, I will check is my this string is equal to goal. No, as of now, my string S is not converted into the goal. So I'll move ahead. Now I will move my B to the right side. So it will look like C, X, Y, Z, A and B. Now again, I will check is my this string is equal to my goal. The answer is no. So again, I will keep on moving. Right. So now I will move my C to right side. So it would become X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Now I can see that my this string is equal to my string goal. Therefore, I will simply return true. Right. So what we basically did is we simply shifted each character one by one to its right side until and unless and my string is equal to my string goal. Now the big question is, hey Pramod, what if the one string that is string yes is not able to convert into the goal? So the question comes, how many times we need to shift our character to its right side? So let's check out that. So what we are given is again, we have given a two string that is string yes and string goal. So let's check out whether we are able to convert our string yes to the string goal or not. So again, what I will do is I will simply move my character A to its right side. So my string will look like C, B, C, D, E and A. Now I will check is my this string is equal to my goal? The answer is no. So I will move my B to its right side now. So C, D, E, A and B. Again, my this string is not equal to my goal. Again, I will move my C to its right side. So it will become D, E, A, B, C. Again, it is also not equal to my goal. So again, I will go on doing it now. B, D, so it will become E, A, B, C. And finally, I will be having D. Now, is it equal to the goal? The answer is no. So again, I will move my E to its right side. So it will become A, B, C, D and E. Right. Now, if we observe carefully that I have shifted all my character to its right side and still it is not equal to my goal. And once I shifted my character E, my this string is become equal to my original string. What was yes, right? Which means how many shift we did to its right side? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We did five rotations. That is we shifted every character present at the leftmost to its right side five times. And if you observe carefully that the five is the total size of my string. Which means if I shifted all my characters present in my S, every character present in my S to its right side, again, finally, I will back to my original string. So at any point, any point, if I shifted every character for the five times, I can simply stop, which means this string S yes, cannot be converted into the string called as goal, right? So this was the easiest problem. What we basically did is we are trying to shift every character present in my S to the, which is present at the leftmost to its right side. And at any point, if I shifted all the character for five times, I shifted five characters, then I'm not able to convert my S into the goal. Therefore, I will simply return as false. And if you observe carefully that the total size of my string is yes, but we did only three shifts, which becomes equal to my goal. Therefore, we simply return as true. Right. So this was the easiest problem. Now let's check out how we can write a code for this. So basically what I did is we simply running the infinite loop. Right. At, but at any point, if my S is converted into the goal, I will simply return as a true. Right. Now the question comes, what does three, these three lines mean is let's suppose I have a string as A, B, C, D and E. So basically what does this line says that I'm going to take a character present at zeroth index, which is A into my variable called as a CH. Now, what does this line say is that delete the character present at index zero. So what I did is I simply deleted the character present at index zero. Now I simply appended the character present into the variable CH at the end of my string S. Yes. Therefore, I simply appended A at the back of my string S. Yes. 
which means I simply rotated my string to its right side by one position, right? And I simply did minus minus. Now, what do you mean by minus minus? I have shifted my character for the first time. As we discussed earlier that we are able to shift my each character for nearly equals to five times, which is equal to my length of my string. Because if I shift all the characters for n times, I will be back to my original string and hence I am not able to convert my s to string goal, right? So this is what we did. At any point, if my n is equals to zero, which means I shifted the character for n times, which is the size of my string. And if my string s is not equal to goal, then I am simply going to break it out. And at finally, I will simply return true if my both the strings are equals, otherwise it will return false. So this was the easiest problem. Now let's move on to the ID and check how we can write the code for this. So this is what the exact solution I wrote here. So first of all, I got the length of my string and then I converted this string into the string builder. The reason I converted the string yes into the string builder is we know that in Java strings are immutable, which means we cannot make any changes in them. That is the reason why I converted this string into the string builder. If you don't know any idea about what is immutable string, what is immutable string, I have already made a detailed video of it. Do go and watch that video for more details. Now what I did is we are simply running the infinite loop at any point I am checking whether this str is converted into the string goal or not. If it is, I am simply returning as true. And then as we discussed earlier that these three statements are basically shifting the leftmost character present in my string s to its right side by one position. And I did minus minus which means I shifted one character. And at the end if my n is equal to 0 which means every character present in my string s I shifted to its right side. And what I did is if my string is not equal to the goal, I'm simply going to break it out. And then finally, if both the strings are equal, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false, right? So this was the easiest problems what we discussed in this video. Just in case you are new to our channel, do subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos.